So I haven't quite arrived yet, but I'm well on my way to Patagonia where I'm going to enjoy some travel, adventure, landscape photography and all kinds of good stuff. For me, the worst part about travel is, well, the travelling. I cannot stand it and I'm bad at it and I wish there was another way to get around, but there simply isn't. So a 14 and a half hour flight from London Heathrow to Santiago in Chile was going to be a struggle for me. I arrived in Santiago and was met by my good friend and fellow photographer, Brendan Van Son. Here we have a day to explore Santiago and the beautiful, vibrant culture that surrounds the city. I've never been to South America before, so I was lapping it up. The beautiful streets, the vibrancy, the energy in the city, the graffiti. This is really getting me excited for the trip and it's only just the beginning. This is just a stop off and already we've been up in a funicular, seen epic views of the city and I cannot wait to catch another flight tomorrow to Punta Arenas where the landscape photography journey will really begin. But right now, it's late afternoon, I'm gonna go and meet Brendan and we're gonna go out for some food. Early start tomorrow and my apologies, this video is probably not gonna contain much in the way of photography, but stick with it as I travel further to South America and towards Patagonia, because this, this is, this is like a dream realized for me and I'm, I'm very excited and I quite literally cannot wait. So yeah, food and more travel. Welcome to Punta Arenas, or Punta Arenas as I keep saying. We have arrived in Punta Arenas and today is day one. So this, this is a workshop, me and Brendan are running a workshop and, and it starts here in Punta Arenas and from here we drive into the Patagonian wilderness. But there's a problem, um, the workshop isn't going to plan, in fact the whole thing has turned into a bit of a disaster. So Latam Airlines have called a strike um, and this has caused chaos up and down South America. So many people have had their flights cancelled or moved or delayed, connections have been missed, travel plans have just gone to ruin. Um, so we're lucky that we got here in time but half of our group is missing. They should be here by now, they should have arrived yesterday um, but they're not. And that's because their flights have been cancelled and then of course all alternative flights are getting filled up um, and it's a bit of a nightmare but luckily everybody is arriving either today tonight or tomorrow morning which puts our workshop back by a day but it's just one of those things there's nothing we can do we were supposed to have a big meet and greet dinner this evening that's not going to happen because half the group is missing so instead we're going to take the group that is here and we're going to go and we're quite literally going to drive to the end of the world um not quite there is this road out of punta arenas and that that is the furthest you can drive in Chile, I think. Something like that, it's, it's cool. So we're gonna go for a drive down that road. I think there's a lighthouse, some seascape, something to photograph. Um, and we're gonna do that because there's no point sitting around in the hotel dwelling about all the chaos caused by Latam Airlines. Uh, so in this video at the beginning, I said, I'm sorry guys, there's not gonna be much landscape photography. Um, looks like there's going to be. 
So I'm getting my gear ready, sorting it all out, and then I, yeah, we're gonna drive to the end of the world. So quite excited um, and very much looking forward to it. I should also mention that all of this trip is being filmed on a new camera and that's because my old 200D um, didn't, I, did it, I, I broke it. It got drenched with salt water when I was trying to take these photographs. Big wave came crashing over and just covered everything. So the mic stopped working on it. Um, I lost a lot of footage from previous trips because there was no audio. So this is, hang on, I should be able to show you. This is the Canon EOS M50. I don't, I don't, I don't think you can see it. Uh, but yeah, this is the M50, little mirrorless camera, and I've used it for like a day now, and it's good. The, the, the every, well, I'll talk more about it, um, and all of the footage is going to be shot on this camera. So yeah, anyway, let's go to the end of the world. Escape into oh, the no. woods. <laughs> oh, this is freaking terrifying. Oh. Log. We're losing traction. This is not good. Oh, no, no. Oh. Ah. Bit of a problem. <laughs> the the road that drive the road to the location that we're going to, which hugs the coastline, quite literally hugs the coastline, and it's high tide. So we've got our little minivan just here and the road has just disappeared, actually just disappeared. We, I thought we were going to get washed away by the tide so we've found this little escape here. We've managed to get away from the ocean and we're in this kind of just this patch of land that seems to be untouched by the waves. Um, we may be stuck here until the tide recedes. But what do you reckon? A bit of an adventure. That was the sketchiest bit of driving in the history. This is the, the yeah, that was, but it was fun. And this place is insane. The trees, the foliage, the colors. Yeah, we can just work here and yeah. shoot, I think. Yeah, totally. Yeah, there you go. Always an adventure. Always an adventure. So this is the road that we escaped from. Uh, as you can see, it's well sketchy, but we only have to go another 50 or 100 yards that way and we're off this road and we can carry on to our destination. So high tide is in about 45 minutes. So it's either stay here or risk it and drive this final 100 yards and then we're off. So we're gonna stay out of the vehicle and Brendan is gonna drive the final 100 yards of this road. And hopefully, we'll make it out of this. <laughs> yeah. very, very exciting though, very exciting. Go, 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 go! So yeah, it's high tide and our footpath has been cut off here. As you can see, no footpath and a river blocking the way. Um, yeah, but Mitchell, Mitchell, who's one of our group, thought it'd be a good idea to just run across. It didn't work out very well for him, the poor lad. Oh, he's going! 
So um, I'm thinking it's going to be best to hike up the river and cross the waterfall rather than running across the tide. Yeah. All good fun and adventure. All good fun and adventure. So let me explain a bit about what's going on here. This isn't a planned excursion. Um, we should be having dinner now with the whole group. Unfortunately, half the group are still lost in transit. Um, so that has been moved forward to tomorrow. So what we're doing is we very, very quickly looked at a map and decided that we should check out this lighthouse. We didn't do any research. Turns out at high tide, the road or the footpath to the lighthouse is cut off. So we never made the lighthouse. And unfortunately, the high tide also cuts off the road so we can't go back. So we're stranded here. We have like about a kilometer of coastline to work with. Um, and it's nice, it's a beautiful evening and we are photographing the, this tree. There's a tree, <laughs> a single tree that's just leaning out from the side of the road. And you've got gorgeous mountains in the background, lovely subdued light, or well, there was, it seems the light seems to be dissipating now. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad composition. It's not really what I had in mind. It's not typical of what I would shoot because of the road, but I'm embracing it. And you know what? It's a nice shot. It is. I'll show you what I'm doing. And yeah, not a bad shot to start the day. So what I like about this image is just, just the composition, really. It's the obvious focal point of this tree here. And the beautiful... Well, I, don't really like roads in my images if I'm honest, but this is a gravel road and it just works as a leading line to pull the eye to the tree across to the mountains and framing it with a 16-9 crop. And this, I would say, quintessentially is an Instagram image. Um, and yeah, it's quite nice and well worth shooting. F11, no filters, and I'm at about 70 mil. So I'm gonna get the shot and then see if there's anything else. So we're packing up now. It's been a beautiful evening. Photographically, it's been challenging, but I saw a few members of the group got some really, really good images, uh, which always makes me so happy. And to top it all off, we've got a pod of dolphins just swimming maybe 100, 200 yards out in this beautifully still water. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of an adventure. Um, Interesting photographically, but it has been a hundred percent scores a hundred percent on fun. We've had a lot of fun today, so really happy. I think we were going to go and have some well earned food. Hopefully, the road is open now and we can get past. Yeah, jobs are good. In.